Well, so guys, everything Apple proved here, and today I'm going to be comparing every single iPhone ever made in a single drop test. So here I've got the iPhone 2G all the way to the newest iPhone 6S Plus and everything in between. Apple's come such a long way, and in this video, I also wanted to see how the durability is throughout the years. Has it gotten better? Has it gotten worse? I mean, the design has changed so many times, so I'm very curious to see how all these iPhones compare to each other in terms of durability. In my opinion, the 4 and 4S were probably the toughest phones I ever had, but you know, the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus have just shown us that they're incredibly tough. So it's really cool to see how these compare. But anyways, we're going to be doing waist height, head height, and 10 foot drops for every single one. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. The 2G, here we go. About a waist height drop. I'm going to be doing these real quick. This guy has plastic on the bottom, but otherwise, you know, besides a couple scuffs that may have been there before, it's uh, still working and the battery keeps dying on me. Anyways, so let's do the face down test. So, three, two, one. Okay, so survive that. So, head height, side, in three, two, one. Okay, I see spiderweb cracks. Phone still turns on. But yeah, quite a bit of carnage right there. Okay, face down, head height, three, two, one. All right, this guy actually has a, a big border around it, so I can see it'd be very protective. Uh, still working, just those cracks right there. Let's go ahead and jump into the 10 foot side and face down drop test. Three, two, one. Oof. There's a new dent right there. Still power's on, just the battery is dead. All right, let's do the face down 10 foot. Three, two, one. This thing is a trooper. I mean, old but gold. Besides that, incredibly durable display. All right, so here's the 3G and 3GS. One came after the other. Design-wise, they were nearly identical. So uh, let's see if there was any difference in durability-wise. And 3GS being my favorite phone, period. I mean, I love this thing. Couldn't even get wallpapers on the 3G. That's how far we've come. In three, two, one. Oh, wow. On the 3G, what is that? I've never seen damage like that before in my life. And up here as well, it's like a bubble underneath or inside the glass. 3G is good, just a scuff. Here we go, waist height. Three, two, one. Oh, there we go. So that's what it took to break the 3G. Man, why is that glass so brittle? And digitizer no longer works for me. Cool, so this guy's still working, still gold. And let's see how far we can go until uh, breaking either. And I drop in three, two, one. Look at that, the glass has separated. Phone still works, but <laughs> no touch response. Oh my gosh, I've never seen that before. So the actual glass is coming out. Head height, face down, drop. Three, two, one. Wow. So, oh no, that's not a chip. Golden. Still not working. Wow, 3GS, what do they do? What are the differences here? Dang, that is brittle. All right, 10 foot. Two, one. <laughs> yeah, I'll be late for dinner. Keep getting stitches from this glass on my phone. <laughs> Anyways, so the LCD is still working. Yeah, terrible. This guy's golden though, wow. Looking good. One. Okay, 3GS is golden. This guy is not turning on, period. So, completely busted. 3G no longer works. Clearly they did something. I don't know what, but the 3GS is more durable here. Here's the 4 and 4S, waist high. Let's go ahead and do this. Three, two, one. This guy has glass on both surfaces. Oh, chip, waist height. Three, two, one. Both are still doing good. All right, head height, two, one. Still doing good. The four has a chip, but other than that, looking good, face down, one. Oh, four, didn't survive. Digitizer still works, ah, cutting myself. All right, let's do the 10 foot, two, one. That was more of a face down for the 4S, but yet, still doing good, it's like a tank. Assembly's coming out. Other than that, I'm very impressed. On to the face down. One. Okay, that's unbelievable. The 4S, you know, pushed on and survived, but the 4 didn't. So, I'm impressed. The S model seem to be doing better so far. 5 and 5S, the first time an iPhone has been offered in gold. So, here we go. Waist height, side drop test in 3, 2, 1. Alive, 2, 1. Good, good. Okay, head height. So, side drop in 3, 2, 1. So, wow. So, the whole screen is coming out. The metal did get really pushed in, but I can push that screen back in. Otherwise, uh, both are bent severely in that corner, but still doing good. Head height, face down. Three, two, one. <laughs> Man. Wow, that sounded so bad. Both screens are still alive. On to the 10 foot. Two, one. Okay, still working. Cool. 10 foot, face down. These are going to break. There's no way they won't. Three, two, one. <laughs> no. Wow, very, very small fracture. Other than that, screen is working and it's very, very good. I'm impressed, wow. Never seen a fracture like this before, just barely in the corner. The 5C, such a weird phone for Apple to release so late in the life cycle, plastic cheap. But let's see if it was durable. Two, one. I can see the plastic taking shock very well, but let's try the display, face down. Golden, onto the head height. Two, one. Good, face down, two, one. See, I'm seeing this a lot today. The actual display laminate is coming apart from the LCD. All that shock going through the phone is uh, causing that. 10 foot side in three, two, one. Wow, so uh, look at that. There's no cracks, but the glue in between LCD and digitizer is coming apart. So cool. And face down, one. I am shocked. Okay, so apart from that glue, separating clean. Very well done with the plastic apple. On to the six and six plus. Six and six plus. Waist height, three, two, one. So the six plus display just popped out. That happens so much, but displays are good. Let's do face down, one. Okay, no cracks. Still looking pretty good. Let's do the head height, two, one. 
<laughs> I'm starting to see that crumple. So there's a little bend in there and the screen came out again. But other than that, both are still working. Cool. And I, three, two, one. Wow. Doing surprisingly good. We can't stand a 10 foot, 10 foot side. Three, two, one. No way. Okay, so there's a severe bend to the phone. It's bent, the screen has popped out on this guy. No problem, pop back in, you're good to go. Same with this guy. All right, face down, one. Wow, no way, how? So uh, my last test, these were completely demolished. Now they're just slightly bent and the display pops out. I'm impressed. So they bend, but they don't break in this test. Let's do these 6S. So these are the most beautiful phones. I mean, the new color, the rose gold is awesome. And yes, this does have that new force click technology. So really cool, let's break them. So waist height, three, two, one. So uh, success keeps proving to be durable. Face down, two, one. Dang, head height. Seems like nothing can phase these guys. They're just so durable. All right, head height in three, two, one. Nothing, <laughs> nothing. Going strong. No displays popping out, nothing. So you face it down, two, one. Dang, no way, again. I can't break these guys. I don't know what to do. All right, 10 feet, the ultimate test. Three, two, one. Okay. I see a little separation between the antenna line and the material. Screens are whole, phone is holy crap durable. Like, I can't believe this. One last test to do, and that's 10 foot face down. Three, two, one. Okay, I give up. There is nothing I can do to break these. Holy crap, 10 feet face down. And these guys do not shatter, do not break. 6S and 6S Plus, you know, these are the ultimate masters in durability. So just take a look at that. Throughout the generations, it looks like the iPhones keep getting stronger and stronger. And the 6S and 6S Plus is the pure point of durability. These guys are masters. 10 foot drops, doesn't phase them. Face down onto the display into solid concrete. You know, I'm just shocked. Apple did it right. And I'm curious to see how these compare with the top Android phones. But holy crap, guys, the iPhone 6S is truly very durable. And I'm very happy with the results. So the S models, in my opinion, fared a little bit better. I don't know what Apple changed, but they did do better in this drop test. The 4 and 3G were surprisingly the only ones to break. The other ones just had screen issues and slight cracks. But as the generations kept getting older, the phones kept getting tougher. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I do appreciate it. Be sure to check out my other iPhone 6S and 6S Plus drop. I think you guys will be impressed as well. You know, I'll be making more videos like these, so be sure to subscribe. And like this video if you do appreciate it. It helps me a lot. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. Enjoy your iPhone, especially if it's the new 6S or 6S Plus. Peace.